Among Us is a social deduction game. There are a certain number of imposters attempting to kill all players, while all the innocents attempt to deduce who these imposters are. The genre itself began long before video games or even board games. Deceit always provides an interesting layer to games. I remember playing heads down, thumbs up in primary school and trying to guess which one of my classmates had chosen me to stand up while they avoided my eyesight or acted inconspicuous. The dynamic is inherently interesting for both sides. You're either lying, which can be incredibly exhilarating, or you're trying to figure out who the liars are, which questions how well you know your fellow players. Among Us managed to capture this so perfectly that it absolutely exploded in popularity, garnering hundreds of thousands of reviews after it received a little push from streamers. There was, of course, Town of Salem, which came beforehand, but didn't quite capture the public as Among Us was able to. Among Us was the perfect blend of simple gameplay and plenty of opportunities for the imposter to deceive their way to victory. Lying in general is difficult to do, especially when you can tell people are suspicious. It's easy to let a smile creep up on your face, avoid eye contact, or act nervous when you're lying. Norman Triplett, a psychologist well known for his work in sports psychology, wrote a paper on the psychology of creating a lie. Through collecting over 300 observations of spontaneous fooling or deceiving by children, he learned that young children frequently lie to different results. When a first grader tells a lie, they are unable to fool their peers. But as they gain social awareness by grade 5, they'll not only successfully deceive their peers, but they will also fool adult strangers and in many cases, their parents. This tells us that not only do we as humans often instinctively lie, perhaps to cover up our poor knowledge of a subject or some other personal gain, but we develop the cognitive ability to lie at quite a young age. Among Us and similar social deception games are so popular because they encourage this inherent desire for us to get away with a lie. Why do we have this desire? Well, psychologists don't really know why. They've certainly decided that presented with the opportunity to cheat at something, humans have a relatively high chance to cheat. Same goes with telling a lie to receive some personal benefit from it. The extent to which they lie comes down to their own integrity, honor, and morals. And so if you're a really good liar, what does that say about your character? When I first thought of this video, I assumed that being instinctively deceptive could potentially be a sociopathic trait. It certainly is, but lying in a video game doesn't necessarily correlate to lying in real life without any care for the repercussions. In other words, being good at lying in Among Us doesn't mean you're a pathological liar in real life. Well, not quite. See, in Among Us, there's kind of two ways to play, right? You could either play as stealthily as possible, strategically lying about particular things that are hard to disprove, and uh, pretending to be a real crewmate. This is how I'd say most people play the game as imposter, and arguably how it's designed to be played. Someone very familiar with the game, the tasks, the map, and the players will likely be aware of how a crewmate should be acting and mimicking that as closely as possible. The word imposter implies that their existence is not immediately apparent as they're impersonating some other character. Like in the Jubilee videos when there's one outlier amongst a group of people, that outlier will instinctively do everything they can to fit in. You can also play Among Us very aggressively as the imposter. Burn bridges straight away by being loud and dominant over the discussions. Playing recklessly like this won't come naturally to most people, and if it's not in your character, people will find it very easy to see through your lies. But for a select few, they'll play uncaring about collateral damage, exploit others' players' sympathy or goodwill, and speak with lots of conviction. This is where it gets interesting, because these traits could potentially extend into reality and hint at someone's potentially sociopathic nature. Now, a lot of the psychological implications of this reckless lying can be situational. Playing a video game is incredibly different to lying to someone in real life for their own personal gain. Being good at deception doesn't mean that person practices it. This is also not to say that a quiet playstyle is all roses either. Whatever way you decide to play the game as imposter, you will inevitably have to lie and potentially manipulate others. That's what makes the game so simultaneously brilliant and exciting. Ultimately, being good at Among Us can mean you're a natural liar. If you're able to convince yourself and everyone else of your sincerity, sincerity as a crewmate whilst killing everyone one by one, you are not only a great imposter, but a great deceiver. Being too good at Among Us might mean you have less of a conscience than you think. If you've made it through the video, please like and subscribe. I've actually been developing my own game recently and I've just released a demo on Steam for free. 
It's a tower defense game with over 50 different towers and abilities, and it's very easy to learn and hard to master. I can pretty much guarantee you'll enjoy it. It's got a surprising amount of depth while still being fun to just chill out to. If you do have any cool ideas for towers, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.